Alrighty, okay, so uh, today's video, there's gonna be so many videos coming out over the next couple days, guys. There's so much information coming through the pipeline right now. Um, I, I have to process it all and turn it into what I believe is gonna be a factual video. So sometimes I'll receive information and I'm like, I can't really turn that into anything that I can put my like full heart behind in terms of it being a realistic thing. So sometimes I won't make something right away. Uh, but with this information, we have concrete proof that something's going on. But I'm also gonna touch on a little other thing that I both saw evidence of and have heard through the pipeline um, has occurred on an existing attraction uh, which might be signs of its retirement. So I'm really excited about that because that would solidify what I've already been teasing to you guys about a World Expo um, expansion coming to the park. So that's all I'll say on that. Um, but let's talk about the toll booths to start it off and then I'll get into some other things including the World Expo rumor. Um, so to start it off, uh, the toll booths, as you just saw at the beginning of this video, there is some electrical upgrades coming. Um, this is an infrastructure upgrade that Cedar Fair does at all their parks. Whether they're going to add more toll booths because it's one of the biggest complaints they get on Google and probably in the surveys that they send out. I have heard that Wonderland sends out surveys after your visit. I have never seen one myself. So if you guys have ever gotten a survey after you visited Canada's Wonderland, can you comment down in the comments section if you've ever received one? Because I've never received one and I would love to fill one out. Not in like an angry, aggressive way, but I honestly, I have a lot of feedback I'd like to provide to the park. Um, but you know, one of Wonderland's biggest kind of concerns from the general public is sometimes, especially on weekends, it takes an hour to get into the parking lot and then it takes like another hour to get into the park. Um, and Wonderland is one of the top five parks in the Cedar Fair chain, and it still is using its old toll booth plaza. Whereas the other Cedar Fair parks have been upgrading their toll booth plazas to self-service um, and, and more lanes. And Canada's Wonderland is that park that desperately needs that. So seeing the, the electrical company that Wonderland's been using for X amount of years now. I, I can't even like put down a concrete answer as to how long they've been on property, but they've been there for a while now. Now they're finally upgrading the toll booth plaza's electrical um, wiring. Now this could be because there is signs that there was a problem at the end of Winterfest and they had to literally bring in a generator. Um, so it could be just that, but I can't help but not eliminate the fact that this is the right time for Wonderland to just fully invest in upgrading their toll booth plaza for several reasons. One being the cost of labor has gone up at Canada's Wonderland now. We can't ignore that. Kudos to them because it, I'm hearing it's doing wonders. There are no staffing issues for the 2023 season from what I'm hearing through the rumor mill. In fact, they are having such a successful hiring process right now that they're almost fully staffed. Like, take that into consideration. From what I'm hearing, again, this is just speculation, Wonderland is almost fully staffed for the 2023 season. This is leagues ahead of any other season that Wonderland has ever had in terms of hiring. So the new wage that they have presented is super competitive and doing them wonders. Now, what that's gonna do is it's gonna balloon the bottom line at Canada's Wonderland. So what is a, par a, Cedar what is a chain like Cedar Fair gonna do when they have a park that has a bigger bottom line now out of nowhere? they're gonna cut costs. And the biggest cost to a business is actually labor next to property taxes. And in Wonderland's case, unfortunately, the conversion of the dollar. So there are things that Cedar Fair already does to offset the conversion of the dollar in terms of investments. But what they're gonna need to do to eliminate a lot of that bottom line in terms of labor is actually, unfortunately, over the next couple years, eliminate positions. So what you see at grocery stores, self-checkout, and stuff like that, that is something you're gonna see coming to Canada's Wonderland. Uh, we already see it at the other parks, again, parks that have upgraded their toll booths. Just being able to scan your own pass and get in, or being able to tap your debit card and go in, having those self-service lanes or season pass lanes is key for a park like Canada's Wonderland. So I can't help but think that these upgrades to the electrical grid are finally Cedar Fair taking the steps towards that. Do I think it could be for the 2023 season? Um, I'm not quite sure. The budget for the 2023 season is already uh, pretty high. We are going to ask some of these questions to Grace on our podcast this Saturday. I have a lot of really good questions I want to ask her. Obviously, she might not be able to touch on all of them, but I do want to ask, are there any other upgrades outside of Planets, or sorry, Snoopy's Racing Railway or Tundra Twister that could possibly be in the works for the 2023 season? We know, or we have seen Wonderland sneak in these little tiny upgrades here and there. So I just want to get those little tiny upgrades maybe out in the open 
open if we possibly can. What I possibly think is going on is getting ready for a 2024 expansion of a new Tollbooth Plaza, and hopefully some upgrades either to Front Gate if we're not going to get the Front Gate Reno in 2024. I'm not quite sure I see that. But that's also a, a little bias me hoping that we eventually get a wing coaster in World Expo and that would be the year we get a front gate reno. But uh, I'm not quite sure about that. That's just wishful thinking. Um, and there's no inside information about that, I can promise you. So maybe 2024 is a toll booth reno and a front gate reno. Like it, it very well could be. We are in desperate need of that and Google reviews and guest feedback is 100% suggesting that. It is a nightmare to get into this park. Um, so I would love 2024 to be that year where, you know, we get a flat ride or a, a flying theater or dark ride uh, for Winterfest and we finally get those toll booth and front gate renos. It's, it's a gap year for Wonderland before a big coaster. So it would make sense that Cedar Fair wants to prep the park for that big coaster installment in 2025 and also the sporting events over the next couple years that are coming to that market. So... Uh, fingers crossed that this is all signs for that because we're in desperate need of that. What do you guys think? Do you think that 2024 sounds like a probable year for Canada's Wonderland's investment in our toll booths and our front gate reno? Or do you think that's going to be for a later date, for example, a wing coaster or even later, maybe it doesn't have to involve World Expo? All right, so now let's touch on the subject of this little kind of rumor slash what we're hearing um, about what took place at Canada's Wonderland. So. Um, one good sign, um, which I'll show in the construction update, is Vortex is showing signs that it's going to go forward with its kind of enhancement to keep its prolonged life. So that's a really that's really good news uh, for Vortex. And uh, I was a little nervous because of Leviathan's uh, unexpected cost to the budget, but it still looks like they're going to go forward with it. So maybe that means a paint job. Uh, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Um, but nonetheless, uh, there's a little birdie and we saw signs that there was a soil sample at one of the coasters existing at Canada's Wonderland in the location of World Expo or what should be World Expo. I'm not going to say too much more, even though I know that leads everyone to what the right what is expected. Uh, I know we're all thinking the same thing, but I really want to keep this information to myself um, as I want to be the one to break the news about um, this possible ride removal that could be announced at the end of 2023. Um, so we'll keep you posted. Um, and uh, obviously as the park gets ready to open, uh, we'll start seeing more signs and we'll start looking out for markings when the park does open. But right now, there are signs of a possible ride removal. It, down the road, again, a soil sample is a very early stage of planning. So this could still be years out, um, but that's all we've heard so far is a soil sample has taken place at a current existing attraction. So fingers crossed guys, this could be the news we've all been waiting for. Um, anyways, I think that's all the information I have in terms of the future of Canada's Wonderland and signs that are definitely pointing towards it. Again, I wanna keep my videos very factual and with evidence that can back up my suggestions and my predictions now. I don't wanna just throw something out there without hearing um, or having some sort of plausible kind of evidence towards that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the new content um, and thanks so much for watching the podcast yesterday. And if you have any questions you'd like to ask Grace in this Saturday coming up podcast, please submit the questions down below, maybe even in this video. I'll keep an eye out. Any good ones I see, I'll screenshot and I'm sending them out on Monday or Tuesday for her to get the answers for you guys on the podcast. Anyways, thanks so much guys. Have a good one. Bye.